What is going on YouTube perverts? John Stanek from Johnny Radio here bringing you another Top 5 on this glorious Top 5 Friday and I'm so excited to be talking to you about this band that I am not the biggest fan of. I'm going to say right off the bat that way you guys don't crucify me with my picks because I know a lot of you are huge Metallica fans and some of you are like really huge fans of their early thrashier stuff. I like their more you know, musical period that started in the late 80s, early 90s. And I'm doing this because it's the 30 year anniversary of 1991's The Black Album this Friday. So I thought this is perfect timing to talk about. Uh, there will be several songs from that album on my list. And uh, just, you know, the things that I really dig about Metallica. So let's get right to it. Here are my picks at number five. Fade to Black from Ride the Lightning. This song, you know, it got a lot of hell back in the day because, you know, a lot of the people that were so used to the kill em all kind of Metallica, just nonstop thrash metal at the time, this was like their first full on ballad that's, uh, of course, it's not just a ballad. At seven plus minutes, it takes a lot of twists and turns musically and really builds up into something heavy. But it's, you know, it, it's Hedgefield kind of singing uh, instead of screaming and starts out very acoustic and you get a little bit of classical guitar vibe. The, uh, the way the guitars build on this thing are fantastic, as always, but uh, this also hit on some pretty heavy subject matter, suicide, and, um, you know, I think it's one of the, the things that, as looking back now, it's, it's one of their greatest songs of all time, and one that stood out maybe in a bad way for fans at the time, but it, it paved the way for some of the music that would come later that's also going to be higher on my list. So now, at number four... Wherever I May Roam, off of the Black Album, my first pick off of that record. Uh, this song, I remember, was, you know, I'd already kind of become a Metallica fan, um, really around the, the time the Black Album was released. But by the time this one came out as a single, I was like totally on board, absolutely loved it, loved the video, which just shows, you know, Metallica on the road. And that's what this song is about, him being in love with being on the road. And it's a great sentiment for any rock band. And, you know, when you think about it, a lot of bands kind of complain about being on the road and how, you know, it, it gets old after a while. You can tell Metallica really loves their fans and loves playing live and loves being on the road so much. And that comes through in the song. And it also has one of the coolest riffs of their entire catalog that boom, down, 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 down. It's almost got like this medieval kind of tone to it. And it's just classic. And then when it, it you know, they take it up a notch, it's just great stuff. So that is my number four. Now at number three, One from And Justice For All. This is the song that introduced me to Metallica and probably many of you as well. I think it's actually their first music video, which was a very disturbing video. You know, this guy who had been through war and he just wants to die because he's so disfigured and, um, you know, I don't know how much of that story went into the songwriting process, but the music goes with it perfectly. And another song kind of like Fade to Black, where uh, they take a cue of the starting out almost as a ballad where it's slow, but it builds and builds. And then by the time you get to that midway point where Lars is doing this Oh my God, it's so amazing the way he does the, the bass drum roll and then they all follow suit and it's like for three minutes straight. It is just incredible. I mean, forget being like headbanging music. It, it was like one of the first things that I remember of metal music being like this progressive, impressive thing to hear and see. And 
Man, I mean, just the, the guitar solos by Kirk Hammett are unbelievable. It's, uh, it really shows off just how musically talented these guys are. And that's just at my number three. So now at number two, Nothing Else Matters, also from the Black Album and also a ballad. You can see where I'm coming from. And like I said, a lot of you Metallica fans that are, you know, all about the, the hard stuff, like Master of Puppets, uh, you know, I totally get it. But I love this era of Metallica where they really wanted to reach a larger audience and they did it in such a way where it didn't feel like they sold out and this song is a ballad through and through and it's beautiful it's one of their greatest songs and again it's about uh something that's so great like it's about them as a band and how nothing else around them matters and you know so close no matter how far I just, the lyrics are so good and Hetchfield's performance is so heartfelt and then Hetfield also plays a guitar solo on this thing, which is fantastic. Um, and it's just great to see, you know, Lars, the way he's playing the drums, very restrained, but singing along as he always does. It's, uh, I almost put this at number one, but I had to have one more and here we go. At number one, Enter Sandman, the opening track from the Black Album. This is the song, uh, just pure nostalgic value. I had to have it at number one because this is the song that really made me a Metallica fan. I mean, I had already kind of appreciated them with Injustice for All and Ride the Lightning, but I wasn't a huge fan of them. But when this came out, man, the video especially, uh, just kind of those haunting images and the strobe light effect, it was so cool. And just the way that the intro builds and builds uh, over a minute before any vocals come in, just like some of the greatest Metallica songs, you know. But man, that guitar riff, it is so iconic. Uh, really one of the greatest guitar riffs of all time. And... Uh, and Kirk Hammett, man, again, uh, just amazing guitar solos on this thing. Uh, he employs the wah pedal in such a great way. Uh, it's one of those guitar solos that I could like play in my head and I know the melody. And uh, of course, you know, it's a song about bad dreams. Uh, how did no one think of that before? A song about nightmares from a metal band, Genius. And Metallica, Black Album, 30 years old, can't believe it. I feel like an old man, but guys, that is my top five. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Let me know what your top five would be. If you're so bold, leave me a top 10. I mean, there's so many great Metallica songs through the years, even after that era, you know, still doing their thing and doing it well. So guys, we got top fives every Friday, album reviews, top 100s, and so much more. Thank you for watching, and as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.